Okay, so this is the uh, is the y-axis from uh, from underneath, um, all cleaned up, and there's a few things I'd like to talk about here. Um, first, this is a uh, tersite here, the surface, and it's uh, it's rubbing directly on the rails of uh, the machine. Um, these uh, tracks here are the way loop and I don't believe they've never been changed on that machine and I mean it's still pretty thick and in very good condition this is like 30 years of uh, uh, you know of, uh, of wear and it already shows it's, it looks really good same on the other side I'm super super pumped about that very happy. I was, uh, you know, a bit worried that uh, it might need change, and this re replacing this is uh, a lot of work. Um, and it looks real good. Um, I've cleaned up all of the uh, way lube um, holes. They all look good. Um, over here, these gibs. Um, look pretty good as well uh, they show some pitting uh, over here but uh, this, uh, this these are all aluminum there is no uh, tersite this is the only place so far I've seen aluminum on steel um, uh, okay one thing maybe I should explain um, uh, this here is uh, a, uh, you know, a, a contact surface from uh, the y-axis to the, the machine rails, but these are not. Um, same here, the, um, like the alignment or the stiffness of the y-axis like this is all done from the middle rail and this is not uh, a contact surface. Uh, these are though and so uh, to come back uh, to uh, the Gibbs um, it shows some pitting here but uh, the actual surface uh, contact surface is the middle here uh, which is a bit you know uh, you can see that it's a bit higher so uh, this is what's in, in really in contact with the, the, the steel of the machine so I don't think this uh, pitting um, has any um, effect yet so I think I'll leave it I'll, I'll keep them for now uh, the surface here is uh, impeccable there's uh, nothing wrong with it so good stuff and here is uh, my main uh, question this is what I'm, I'm a bit perplexed about um, this is steel. There is no uh, there is no tersite, and I don't believe there has ever been tersite there. Because if we compare here, you can see that this surface is super rough, where the tersite is glued on, and this is for you know better uh, adherence uh, with the glue. And there is no such thing here. So I think uh, well. I, it has to be. This is steel on steel um, with oil in between of course. The oil comes from this uh, part here. But steel on steel. It's the only place I've seen on the machine where there is steel on steel and it doesn't look uh, worn that much uh, or even... well here, yeah I can feel a uh, little something here. Not quite sure where that's from. And same here. It looks like this is the contact area and this here. And this would be probably a little bit recessed, like a few thou or something, maybe five thou, uh, with the, the way loop. Yeah, so this, this is uh, what I can see here. Uh, all of the, the rest are non-contact areas, so they 
aren't really important. This has been machined here, but it's uh, these are where the, the 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 you know the blocks with the gibbs uh, pushing this way uh, towards the tercite, the rails towards the tercite. This is where they would be. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's the underneath and all uh, that I can you know talk about. So uh, thank you again for watching uh, this. Uh, this uh, short video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.